here in Guyana, beneath the towering Tapui Mountains in this wildly beautiful and unexplored cloud forest in the heart of the Amazon. We're here to make a show on the National Geographic channel, as well as shoot a story for National Geographic magazine. The full story is still a bit of a secret until the release of the upcoming Explorer episode. So you'll want to stay tuned. But for now, we wanted to share with you a bit about the process of shooting this expedition, which in essence is a scientific mission through the forest and up into this vertical realm with the help of a few big wall climbers and old friends. There's Mark Sinnott, adventure writer and the brains of this mission, Foucault Bassani from Venezuela, who has spent his entire life climbing in these regions, and Alex Honnold, the ultimate secret weapon for the team's potential first ascent of Wayasapu to Pui. The cameras are just pushing as hard as they can in these conditions. The Sony FX6, the Alpha 1, and the S3. Kind of killing it. We're shooting on the Alpha 7 S3. The S3 is the low light monster. I could not get these shots without this camera. We're also here with the Akawayo people, the local indigenous communities of this region, and our guides for the journey. It is day 25 of living in the jungle. I've never worked in more difficult conditions in my life. The jungle environment is the most gnarly environment I have ever worked in. It's totally heinous, incredibly difficult hiking. It's basically like a gnarled tangle of roots and a maze of slime. I have probably been the most wet of my entire life over the last couple of weeks. I just want to not be wet right now. I just want to be dry and eat a hamburger somewhere. Speak of the devil, it's raining. I just want a hamburger. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it looks like your foot is steamy. I know. You want to get a shot of me licking it? No. I don't want anyone licking my foot, please. <laughs> <laughs> At no point have I ever thought that this trip was going smooth. <laughs> How can something this chaotic be smooth? Oh, right in the. Oh, God. This is not easy. Oh. We're all really beat down, the entire team. Right in the butt. It's even harder than the Everest expedition that we did in the conditions that we're dealing with. It's like walking in chocolate pudding, cold pudding. The jungle is the ultimate testing ground for cameras. It's not just the moisture, it's not just the rain, it's not just slime. It's the constant dropping in the mud, the accidental slips, the falls, the impact all day long. It just wants to eat your camera gear alive. There were so many times I thought I destroyed a camera on this expedition, but they just kept going. And it's safe to say I've entered a deep long-term relationship with the new Alpha One, with its raw burst action frame rate for stills, and then click over to 8K video, and then click over to slow-mo in 4K 120 at 10 bit. I've just never had so much in such a lightweight package. Renan is, I mean, he's like any artist. It's just, he's a bobblehead. It's like, oh, and then boom, he gets the greatest shot you've ever seen. Here's a go watch the pool cue technique. Coming in. This place has so much life. It's like an undiscovered Galapagos. 
It's such a privilege to be here. You just want to work as hard as you can to do it justice. Taylor has been great, a super talented artist, but it's been nice to have somebody that's helping guide the process of storytelling and, oh, she's looking over here. Go away. I'm talking about you. You were saying a lot of bad things. Claude Forest, living up to its name. Just dangling in space, trying to get one final shot. We get it. I think we're gonna get it. The clouds just lifted out for the first time in forever, right through there. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. <laughs> oh my God, absolutely breathtaking. Look at this, this is sick. It's crazy, it's crazy. These are the moments that make it all worth it. I hope this adventure really makes people care about this place when it comes down to it. I feel like we've reached this new stage in filmmaking with this current Alpha Suite. We're able to bring back stories from the harshest places on Earth and use these advanced tools to hopefully make a difference.